This episode of Beers and Brawls is proudly brought to you by Shifty Lizard Brewing Co. Amazing little brewery down in Woolunga, serving up awesome ice cold beers on tap. They also have a kitchen that has amazing burgers and chicken wings. Uh, if you can't get down to Woolunga, they have another venue in the Adelaide CBD called Hard Days Night where they have all their beers on tap, plus they've paired up with a few other food trucks there. So, if you're looking for something to do on your next weekend free, get down to Woolunga or Hard Days Night, make a day of it, try all their beers, try their food, you'll love it, I love it, it's one of my favourite places. So, cheers. That's a good drop. Welcome to Beers and Brawls, the show where my guests and I drink beer and talk all things wrestling. Welcome to another episode of Beers and Brawls. I'm your host, Jared. Um, and as always, quick shout out to our sponsor, Shifty Lizard. Um, give those guys a look and t- I get into their awesome beers. But enough about that. We have a 15 year veteran of the South Australian wrestling scene joining us tonight. He's been a mainstay at Wrestle Rampage. He's been there for all the name changes, and he's currently been popping up around Riot City as well. He is Joey Graham. Joey, hey, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. All right, thank you for joining me. I uh, appreciate you coming out, um, giving up your night to spend on here. Um, what's been happening? Uh, no, not just the usual training, lifting weights, <laughs> training, trying to sleep it off, rest and recover. Yeah, nice. Um, and like I said in the intro, you. You've been doing this a long time now, uh, Wrestle Rampage, and um, starting to pop up at Riot City. How's that? How's that? Yeah, feeling? it's it's good. Uh, so I've been wanting to work with you guys for a long time, and it's like it's good that the opportunity finally came up and everything like the stars aligned. So uh, definitely like to continue doing that and yeah, branch out into everywhere. I want to wrestle everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. I'll start home and then I'll spread out. Yeah, no, that sounds good, man. No, um, it's great to, to see you branching out and getting out there. Um, you know, everyone, the, the fans um, deserve to see you out there wrestling. Um, so it's going to be awesome to see what you can get up to and start branching out. But to welcome you on the show, we'll get our shots out. We've got some, uh, got some special stuff here, some cold brew whiskey. Beautiful. Let's hope it's... There we go. These are big glasses. I yeah, won't do a won't do a full one. <laughs> there we go. That smells delicious. All right. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that is delicious. Oh, nice. All right. Let's get this party started. Let's do it. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> like I said, we're starting to branch out a bit now, but um. What is what's sort of going on at Rampage for you at the moment? What what are you sort of going into? Uh, so me and Pontrock Istria have recently reconciled all our many differences <laughs> that we've accumulated over the years. Um, had a really big bonding experience when he absolutely took me to school <laughs> and almost broke my arm. So uh, after that, we bonded because I'm like, hey, cool, we yeah. can both beat each other up. Let's be friends. And uh, so we're in the tag division. Nice. Currently nice. trying to take down Rob and Amber, as well as my brother Pat with Edward Dusk. And it's just uh, it's getting out of control over there. It's, uh, <laughs> so it's a mean team. Building right up there. that tag division for sure. Yeah, definitely. No, um, yeah, it's, the Spookies have got the titles. So <laughs> that's uh, and then you've got yeah, obviously your brother and Edward Dusk, which is a. I'm very mean, mean yeah, looking team there. Yeah, no, so, um, not looking forward to that. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> want to be in your shoes in that tag division, but a uh, brave man to be taking on those guys. But um, that's good, man. So uh, what we'll do now is get into our questions. All right. A bit of rapid fire, 10 and 5 questions. Um, nice and easy, nothing too crazy. How does that sound? All right. <laughs> Let me just get my brain operating at full speed. All right. Time is ready. Ca- uh, questions are fired up. Let's go. Let's go. Starting the timer now. Question number one. Who are you? Who is Joey Graham? What's he all about? I am the Screaming Demon. As I took a brief hiatus to be a rock and roll star, which I did very successfully. Uh, Then found the balance for rock and roll and wrestling because they do go hand in hand. Uh, So I'm just bringing vibrant colours, fun, (laughs) action, and (laughs) yelling. Nice. I love it. And um, apologies, I should have put that in the intro. You are a rock star, but we'll get into that a bit later. Um, we touched on it 
quickly, but when did you start wrestling? Uh, when I was almost 15 years old. So I've been wrestling for half my life. Wow. Uh, just over. Yeah. Uh, they made a special exception because of my brothers uh, who started wrestling before me. So Greg Graham got me my foot in the door. Yep, yep. Uh, I got an early tryout and I debuted about six months later. Wow, nice. That's so good. Uh, favorite wrestler and why? It used to be Rey Mysterio. He was why oh, I nice. started wrestling. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to be a luchador. Yeah. And then I got to be six foot and 104 kilos. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's change that. Uh, but I've been looking back and uh, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Dean Malenko Wicked. are equal yeah, ties yeah. for top position. They're just phenomenal workers in every aspect. Nice. I've seen you move. I think you can do some luchador stuff. I can. Definitely. I just shouldn't. <laughs> Uh, the, the myth of wrestling is dead. Don't worry about that. Uh, favorite match of yours? Uh, I have so many for so many reasons. Um, but the one that has always stuck with me is the second Heimley Street fight we did at uh, what was then Fowler's. Yep, yep. Against uh, Hartley Jackson and Jonah Rock. Yep. And it was a balls out fight. <laughs> I got concussed and knocked out within the first minute. Oh. Uh, busted open the hard way. Shit. And we just carried through for another 18 minutes and it was just so exhilarating, so exciting and just working with those two, oh, plus nice. my brother Greg in the match as well, is just, yeah. it's definitely like number one for me. Is that available to watch or? I've never seen it back. Oh, yeah, okay. I know, we'll I'm sure some, it was uh, filmed. We'll do some but, digging. Uh... Alright, I'll get the assistant onto that, do some <laughs> digging. Um, your dream opponent in Australian wrestling at the moment? At the moment, um, myself. No, because uh, <laughs> uh, I've been able to wrestle heaps of... I think I would like to have another match with Slater. Oh, yeah. Because uh, nice. it's been a long time since we've been in the ring together, and I was very young the last time. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. And sure. obviously he's phenomenal, and it would just be good to get in there and see yeah. what we put together like now. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. No, I'm definitely keen for that. That'd be sick. Um, wrestling in Australian wrestling, you're challenged for a drinking competition. I would take anyone on. <laughs> as long as I've had a pizza beforehand, you're going down. Nice. All right. uh, but Wrecking Ball Wilson. There you go. I'm sure he's watching. So come on in. We can have a we can have a drink contest for the next one. Uh, your most embarrassing moment in the ring. This was actually in a match with Slater. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting on the top turnbuckle, and he was facing away from me, and I needed to get his attention. So I could jump at him. <laughs> and I said, Hey, Slater! He didn't turn around. So I climbed down, I tapped him on the shoulder, and I walked back, and I climbed back <laughs> up. And then the, immediately afterwards, I'm like, That was so dumb. <laughs> and now I regret telling him. But, no, so we're going we're gonna to dig that up as well. <laughs> what is your current wrestling goals? Uh, I would like to wrestle in every state in Australia. Yeah. Um, I don't think it'll happen this year, but over the next few years, I just want to wrestle as much as I can before the toll that's taken on my body finally goes too far. I'm like, okay, well, I have to yeah. tone it down and I'll just wrestle like a couple times a year or yeah. have to stop altogether. I want to wrestle everyone that I possibly can before I have to retire. Yeah, nice. Have you ticked off any states yet? Uh, yeah, I got to wrestle in Perth at the start of this year yep. for the first time ever with EPW and that was sick. Nice, um, nice. And I would love to go back there and wrestle some of their more experienced people. Yeah, well, you got Slater's number. You can give him a call. I should do that. <laughs> uh, match type that you would never compete in? Uh, I think I would give anything a go once. Yep. yep. Um, I've watched a bunch of deathmatch stuff, and I'm not the biggest fan of it. But, I would, again, I would like to give it a go. Yep. Um, so I'm going to say uh, maybe a Brian Panties match. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, we have never had that one on here, so that's a good answer. I like that. It's something new. I love it. Um, and on the flip side, what's a match that you would love to compete in that you haven't? Uh, a ladder match. Just a strictly ladder match. I would yeah, love, nice. love to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, right that's on right. the money. Just ignore that. We've got, we got some more to go through. <laughs> um, in your opinion, what is wrestling missing today? Um, I think a, a bit of the, so obviously I, when I got into wrestling, it was attitude error and I loved the fun, the unpredictability, just like the vibe of the whole thing. Yeah. And I think, uh, we've lost a bit of the fun 
along the way yeah, okay. with uh, yeah. obviously the rise of UFC and MMA making people have a good hard look at fighting mm, yep, yep. Uh, we've had to be more serious and strict with what we do yep. we still have fun here and there but like that the huge personalities and the ridiculous things that used to happen yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would be beneficial especially in live show situations that we do and the crowds that we perform for like they love it they eat it up yep, and yep. the bulk of our, di- our dynamic uh, no demographic sorry <laughs> use the right word uh, is those fans yeah yeah like from my generation and older who love you know Hulk Hogan like yeah, big yeah, larger than life people so I think we need more of that action definitely and you do see a little bit of it popping up now and again like you had that guy off the pizza that went yeah. viral and stuff yeah. but <laughs> You know, people love it, but then obviously you get the the people that start to rip that shit to shreds, and then that gets, you know, people go, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't do stuff like that because yeah. you're just gonna rip the shreds. But it's like you said, in, that line. in front of a live audience, if it's not gonna be, you know, filmed and degraded all over online, then you know, why yeah. not go without for it? taking away from what we're doing? You can still add that stuff in and be silly and ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, you, the people that are paid to come see you are the ones that are more important than the idiots online. Hundred anyway, percent. So. Awesome. That brings us to the end of the 10. But I've got a bonus question. All right. Um, so, Rampage obviously, is your home promotion. It's where you've been all, your whole time. Who are your top three wrestlers, excluding yourself, that are currently in Wrestle Rampage? Uh, Punch Drunk, Istria, Greg Graham, Reckon Ball Wilson. Nice, nice. There are so many more. Like, Oh, yeah. But yeah. They're my boys. Yep. I've trained with them for a very long time. And... <clears throat> Every time they're in the ring, I can't look away. Yeah. Like, they're fascinating. They always do something different. It's just like, yeah, it's a new experience for every time. Yeah, of course. I love it. No, no, <laughs> it's an awesome answer. And then, um, who are the three, um, Cami and Rampage or in SA, that you have your sort of eye on the up and comers? Uh, so I'm going to do two in one because they're our newest. Uh, for Rampage um, Vicky Void and Lee Lovegrove yeah, nice, they're nice. one person in my eyes <laughs> no, two they, separate people and wonderful people they, they've made a good impact so far um, they have so much potential and I can't wait to see them realise that potential <clears throat> yep um, uh, I'm sort of out of the loop in who's up and coming and new because of my like brief hiatus for band stuff that's alright that's um, right. throw out a name yourself matter. No, <laughs> Jared doesn't wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that uh, Redshaw douchebag. Um, I'm gonna beat him up. Um, yeah, no, I've, I've I've watched a bunch of your matches and I really like the way that you work. And it's I would love to get in the ring with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure I can set that up with Redshaw one day. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, get his people, <laughs> call my people. Yeah, easy, easy. Um, <laughs> It can be like people that have been around for a while that just sort of grabbed your eye at this moment. That doesn't have to be rookie sort of, is, is you say? Probably Delta, man. Yeah? She, yeah. Uh, just in the past year, uh, I've seen her ability and adaptability to situations improve so much. Oh, huge. huge and huge. she has not been doing it for very long. No. But no. She's making the impact, making a statement. And uh, uh, her last match with uh, Istria it was awesome yeah, yeah. Um, exciting the whole way through so I think she's still got a long way to go and she's already she's like you said in, in, from the start of the year to now it's just been crazy huge crazy yeah. and then you go back a year even then it's just yeah so amazing. I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing like how high she goes yeah 100%. absolutely easy alright well that are awesome answers Joey thank you for those um, <clears throat> really appreciate you going for them and um, I really want to see you start popping up around Australia um, and start achieving those goals that you have set there I will I'll start messaging people for once yeah <laughs> well you, you know a lot of people so I'm sure you can uh, sort that out but um, promoters anyone watching this get this guy on your show he's like worth the money it. and he's worth the time um, so that brings us to the end of those now we're going to fire up some photos oh, of your career fun and um, have, a, have a look through those alright sound good let's check the memory Awesome. All right, Joey, pictures are fired up. Oh, God. It's time to get into it. All right, we're going to start with, when I find it, 
number one. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what do you want me to say about this thing? <laughs> Look at the garbage bag pants. Well, you got some tassels going. <laughs> um, I want to talk about the the logo in the background. What it was, PWA? PWA. Was it? This uh, I think was our first trip to Sydney. Oh, nice. Um, with our mentor. so you've wrestled in Sydney. Yeah. You, yeah you I've done, I've done before, Melbourne, yeah. Sydney. I've done Queensland. Um, but it was all during this era, um, when we had Harley Jackson. Going, you guys are wrestling here now. Yes, so getting booked yourself is a whole different thing that I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, th- th- me and you both. Mate. So this, I think, was night. This was a, a double header, if if I remember correctly. Uh, first night I had a triple threat, and second night was a tag with me and Greg. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I was concussed because I. <laughs> Well, firstly, the first night we got there, we all were very excited and we got very, very <laughs> drunk, which was silly. We played in the playground. Uh, we were staying at Madison Eagle's house. Okay, yep, yep. Um, so we got very drunk. We had a really good time. And then we had to wake up and set up a show oh, and do this. Ouch. Um, they had the crash mat out and me and Greg were just getting a feel for the ring because it's obviously yep. uh, shorter ropes, different feel to the Rampage ring. Yep, yep. Uh, I got... Very excited that the crash mat was out. I went to do a double back flip. And uh, back when a little skinny <laughs> Joe could do flips. Um, a little Ray Mysterio. And, uh, I over flipped. My head landed off the mat. Whip cracked on the, the solid mat. Oh. And uh, that was me concussed for the rest of the trip. Shit. So this match I have no recollection of at all. <laughs> and also this moment here. We we were upstairs in a different room, just hanging out, and someone came up running like, "Your music's playing!" <laughs> and we're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Our opponents already out there waiting, and we're like, "Go go 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 go!" go. <laughs> like, okay, and this was also uh, the first time we ever played heels. No, oh, so, okay. Um, we just got the the new garbage bag pants <laughs> and our tassels from from Spotlight. <laughs> And uh, we were told, go out there and be bad guys. And it was immediately after this show um, that Jag started booking us as the Hot Rods. Yep, and yep. we got our uh, zebra zebra print pants. Nice. And nice. started doing the big rock and roll 80s gimmick. Great yep. leeches hair. And uh, it was all rock and roll. We came out to Staying Alive by Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, nice. nice. And it was awesome. It was heaps fun. Nice. I love it. <laughs> what, a st- uh, what a story for photo number <laughs> one. <laughs> It's a lot of memories. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, okay. This is Thebiton Theatre. Probably the... Thebiton Theatre? Yeah. Oh, wicked. This is probably the second Thebby we did, I reckon, with the tables match. Nice. This was a uh, tables elimination tag match. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if memory serves. Um, Thebby is awesome to wrestle in. That'd be amazing, um, yeah. It's a big venue to fill. Um, but it is... It's so cool just being there and making your entrance from that grander stage. Yeah, yeah, wow. Uh, it was super, super cool. Uh, that it's... table there, I didn't put anyone through it. <laughs> I got a back body drop over the top rope to the floor uh, through it, yeah. which I was like, should be fine. <laughs> oh, maybe. And uh, as I'm falling, I hit flat, it snaps. Tailbone hits the floor with the, oh. the table just along it, and that was probably about an eight month recovery for that bruise and that pain to stop throughout my back. Oh. But uh, that match was really fun. Yeah, yeah. So this was, sorry, probably the height of the hot rods. Yeah. So it would have been me and Greg, uh, probably Jag and Havoc. And I think there was a third team. I can't remember exactly. I'd have to check. That's all right. Cage all right. match. Um, but this was a lot of fun to work because of the elimination aspect of it. Yeah, so of course, one yeah. person's out, it's like, okay, who are we going to target on? You! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you had to go through the table to be eliminated. Yeah, so. yeah. That's insane. It was madness. That's just a match alone, but Febby Theatre and it's, everything like that. That's, yeah. So did you enter it onto the... You made your entrance on the stage? Yeah, and we had a long ramp. It was probably about a... And then the four, ring's in the middle of the room. Four metre ramp. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's um, insane. I think we had a ladder match 
there as well. Probably not on this show, um, but it you can actually have it hanging from the the drops in the ceiling. So <laughs> it's yeah, it's just so grand. It's so good, and like mm-hmm. when you watch them from backstage, you're up in the little towers to the side, heavy. Yep, yep, yep. So you can see everything, and it's uh, oh, the atmosphere was outstanding. It was really good. That's insane. I um, drove past Febby the other day. They've closed it until 2025. I saw that. They're like revamping it. I'm pretty sure it said 24 the other day, and now it says like yeah, 25. Yeah, definitely said like, 25 the other day when I was... Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, okay, but yeah. Um, no, that'd be insane. That's insane. All right. Um, so just warning you, the timeline may be a little bit out in the photos, but it's just... No, that, that's okay. What I sort of found. So far, so good. Here we go, number, number uh, three. No, no, it's still, still in, in time. That's fine. Oh, God, I love this photo so much. <laughs> <laughs> so now you've got, like you said, you've got the zebra sort yeah. of pants, the rock and roll gimmick going. Um, so those pants we got from a site called Bizarre Bazaar. Um, and it was this old 80s wrestler that, oh, God, I wish I could remember his name. Um, Greg would know it. You got the leg warmers. Um, but yeah, we, got, we bought our fluffies. We had uh, black and white fluffies. We had these. We had our hot rod shirts with, with the coolest design. It was like a zebra print but in writing all the way down, it just said hot rods. We had the weirdest colours. Do you still have it? Uh, I don't have a single one. Oh, no. Um, we had about 10 left. Yeah. And then Jag moved to Japan and suddenly they were gone, but he has one. <laughs> 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 so, they're somewhere. Oh. Um, but they were, we had like uh, black with pink and then we had uh, black purple with green. And the oh, nice. yellow with lavender. Ooh. We were just like, um, we had that, our friend uh, Tom Chocolate make the design and make the shirts. And we just were like, we want like weird 80s colors, like bright and vibrant. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. Obscure. These ones did not sell. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to wear a, a, like a, a mustard yellow shirt with lavender writing on. I don't know. Except I think us. that sounds all right. I wish I still had. Because. I used to be fit, so I would take my shirt off and go, like, yeah, and throw them out to the crowd. What do you mean, used to So, uh... No, just... Well, you'd just lose them, you'd throw them to the crowd. Yeah, I'd just throw them out. Oh, wow. Uh, same with our... <laughs> not that bandana, that one I still have. That's like a, a silk scarf. <laughs> That's leopard print. Uh, and that was my girlfriend's. So I'm like, I can't throw that out. No, no. That doesn't belong to me. But yeah, we started... The Graham brothers started with... We had bandanas. I had black, he had red. And we'd come out, and we'd... Throw them to the crowd, and then people would go and buy our merch. <laughs> and they were just like, can- <laughs> well, pretty much canteen bandanas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just mark them up, sell them off, sign them. That's, that's and it was actually pretty good. I'm trying to do the same thing with hats, but I keep forgetting to get my logo off. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. You can work to that. And now, who are we talking about? The rock star. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Rock star gimmick. Well, so, not gimmick, it's real life. This is actually a picture from my first gig. Ever. Oh, really? Yeah. That was not in school band. <laughs> so this is with my band Road Hole. Okay. Uh, which I started with Bones Malone. Oh, nice. Uh, way back when we were, obviously we were very little. Um, and this was at Shots. If you know Shots in the city, it's a pool lounge. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. called... Oh, what's it called now? Something Empire? Fats. No. Or, uh, it, Empire? it keeps changing. I don't, yeah, yeah. I think I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, this is our first gig ever. I dyed those shorts myself, so they were purple shorts. Oh, wicked. And then I had purple legs. <laughs> <laughs> and then they swiftly went a weird pinky purple. Um, but this was heaps fun, because like, this was the first time I got to play music that I wrote in front of people. So, oh, wicked. Um, so you had your own original... Yeah, so this was sort of thrash metal. Yeah, yeah. It slowly got more thrashy. We had a different lead singer here. Um, he left the drummer. Well, he left. We got rid of him. Uh, our drummer stepped out and we replaced him with a different drummer, uh, Daniel Zappello, who just changed everything in the band. It became so good when we recorded an album. Oh, and the wicked. album is sick. And, uh, is it on Spotify? It is. It's is called, it? It's called Shredded by Roadhole. Right. Guys, I'll put the link in the description, but we got to get around that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it's just, it's heaps fun. We're trying to get back into it. Um, Bonesy's had two kids over the past couple of years, so yep. he's been family man. He loves that, which is super cool. Yeah, that's cool. awesome. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we've been talking about getting the band back together. <laughs> so you were the bass player, obviously. Uh, bass player, and I'm the vocalist now. So. Oh, you're the vocalist now, yeah. yeah I was just 
this is backup. This, I just use this because I'm like, yeah, I was always a vocalist. Right, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they got a wicked chain on the guitar as well. That looks cool. It's so heavy. <laughs> I don't play with it anymore because it's ridiculous. And it also, it picks up in the guitar. So every time I move, the chain gets uh, picked up by the magnets yeah, and it yeah. comes through my amp, which <laughs> seemed cool until all you can hear is... <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose that's how you built those big traps then, mate, with that heavy It's exactly chain. <laughs> right. My traps take nothing to grow. Here we go, talking about Slater. Oh, that is a snake pit. Oh my god. Snake pit, there you go. You wrestled at snake pit? There you uh, go. Yeah, well, yeah, we did a few at snake pit. My favourite one um, was we had Combat Wombat. If you've ever heard of Combat Wombat. No, no. He disappeared shortly after. I think he's back now, but I don't know. But we rocked up, and they're like, oh, Joey, you're with him. And I had brought, like, army clothes. I'm like, ah, well, I'm going to be G.I. Joey Graham <laughs> with Combat Wombat, and it's yeah, going to yeah. be heaps fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this match, I actually have very little recollection of. <laughs> this would have been Jay going, we're wrestling Friday night, be here at this time. Yeah, Let's yeah, go. yeah. <laughs> That's Travis Banks, too. All right. Young Link. There's some young young kids in there. Oh my god. Little J Rock. <laughs> he's tiny. I know. Uh, he's so big now. He's out of control. Oh my god, he's huge. Um, Doing sentons on people. Oh my god. The tsunami. <laughs> I um yeah, I just I wish I had more to say about this. No, that's alright. It's, it's, it's a good little photo, some good memories yeah, of some people there. So a lot of a lot of young kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah some so, rock stars. That, that's our first drummer. There you so, go. Yeah, Kevin Bonford. Gee, look at the chains. Wonderful man. Ah, right. uh, uh, this is actually made of hex nuts that I made myself. <laughs> hex nuts and jump rings, and I was like, I'm gonna make a gauntlet. And again, that stuff is not practical. I'm also wearing three fucking vests. Oh, look you at are that. too. What the hell? Ridiculous. And a shirt. Fucking... And what a silly, silly young man. <laughs> Like, if I have more metal, I'll be more metal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And we just took it in front of this old uh, ambulance. We're like, this will be just cool. It's a random ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is our first band photo shoot ever. I like it. It's cool, man. It, it's, it's old school. And just like before it. we did it, he bleached blonde tips in his hair at oh. the front. And we're like, oh, come <laughs> We're trying to be cool in metal. And he's just yeah, going he's like, gonna, gonna be crew on yeah, us. a bit pop on that, <laughs> a bit glam on that one. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, Joey Ram versus Harley Jackson. So, I think I won this. S A serial killer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, what, what, a, him and, uh, what a name. Jonah with the South Australian serial killers. Jesus. And they were an awesome team. <laughs> uh, they they were who we first in the the Heinley Street fight. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yep. Uh, I, I I believe if I check my cage match right, I won this match. Oh, there you go. So my my debut match was against uh, Mr. Jackson here. Okay, yeah, yeah. And he floored me because <laughs> I was a sixty kilo nobody. <laughs> but my debut match was also for the title. So oh shit, that nice. was cool. That's cool. And That's it was good. An and awesome good experience. And immediately following that match, he dragged me outside the ring. Slam me on the hard Costco floor and then carry me back like a trophy. <laughs> and then we got back to he went and then walked off to his dressing room. <laughs> what? It's one of my fondest memories. Oh wow, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> uh, well, Hartley, if you're watching, mate, um, <laughs> well done on that Love one. You, but buddy. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. In the rumble. 2014. Oh, that would have been this. Oh, far out. Cole Devani tribute show while he was still alive. Yeah, just tribute to a legend. Yeah, exactly. Man, terrified me. <laughs> but he was so, <laughs> he was always nice. But Did uh, he ever train you at all? No. No. no he uh, would come into our trainings every now and then and just watch for a bit. Okay. Um, and a few of us quickly learned that. If you're talking about wrestling to Cole, cool. If you respect wrestling, he's not going to hurt you. But if you just sit next to him and make chit-chat, at some point, he's going to do something to you. And it will hurt. <laughs> and for me, it was, I had just, like, you can see my little underbeard here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 
just trying my hardest to have facial hair. <laughs> and he looked at me and went, what's this? And he grabbed this chunk here and he oh. ripped it out of my face. And I went, ugh. <laughs> Sprinkled it away. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> good one, Cole. <laughs> that was the only time I got proper caught. Um, but he was oh, always super nice shit. to me. Um, but this would have just been, oh, Joe, you're on the show. Do the rumble too. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I think I was out there for maybe five minutes. I was like, okay. And because they, their ropes are very low. Yeah, yeah. And I'm tall, so I just went straight over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I tried. Uh, sorry, Cole. I tripped over. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Looking a bit like Hartley Jackson look, there. Look at that turtle shell. Look at him. All traps, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Been playing that bass with the chain too long. So that face there is actually because of Hartley Jackson. Okay. I was like, how do you do a mean face? He's like, I don't know, just pretend like you're smelling dog poo. <laughs> <laughs> and so I do it all the time. I'm like, <laughs> like, that's a, yeah, it's actually, it works. There you go. Tip for, <laughs> tip for the rookies out there. When Smell you're dog poo. Mean. And then mimic that. <laughs> but this was a, a photo shoot that we did with uh, a few models that wanted to do a, an MMA weights wrestling photo themed shoot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, there was some weird shot. There's one in the batch with Wrecking Ball. And, and he's doing something that's made his neck extra long. So, so, so he's just like... Mm. I don't know why, but it's my favourite picture of him. We'll have to dig that up later and have a look. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, it's a triple threat. 2014, look at that. That was actually a, a really really fun match because obviously I'm working with two people that get wrestling yeah, yeah. so well and to be honest it felt like I was just trying to keep up yeah. the whole time it was like they're three steps ahead of where I am I'm like I got this I know wrestling let's yeah. go let's go let's go <laughs> um, I think <clears throat> who won that I think it was Jonah is that it? Yeah, with them. It would have been at Woodville. Yeah, I think Jonah was still champion then. Yeah, nice. My memory's not not so good. That's all right. And you got um, a few others along the bottom there. Yeah, I always forget. That I've actually had a number of championship matches. And yeah, like, yeah. I have been pushed to that point. I've just never quite gone all the way with it. It's all right. You got time. Um, you got time. You'll get there. But yeah, like I was looking back, I'm like, oh, that was a title match. Oh, that was a title. That was like for some kind of like. Okay, so I've, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, you've been at the mountaintop. you just got to just just get there. Mentally, I'm just like, ah, it's just, it's just wrestling. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's go, that's fine. All about that mash. Nah, mate, I'm sure there's a title in your in your future very soon. I ain't dead yet. Look at oh, those zebra prints. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I don't even want to think about what I'm saying there. <laughs> It would be nonsense. You got some black fluffies on there. Yeah, yeah, we went for the black. We got the, the new tights. Nice. I think we got them from the same website, <laughs> that the Bizarre Bazaar, which doesn't operate anymore, which is oh, really? unfortunate oh. because it had really, really cool tights. Oh, and Greg's bleach blonde hair. <laughs> so this is uh, before I got to the first... What is known as Fat Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about 85 there. And shortly after that, I was 104. And uh, I missed one training session. Just, yeah. just one. We used to train five nights a week and most most weekends. And they were like four hour sessions because we do weights, then wrestling. Oh, wow. And that was just, life was just, we're doing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I missed one session for a legitimate reason, which I cannot recall. <laughs> and I came in the next day. And Jay just looked at me and went, Ha! Oh, fat joke! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! And then I legitimately got to like 104. I was like, Okay, this is ridiculous. Right, so, so this nickname's been around for a while. I thought this yeah. was just saying that Hater was using the bully here. But no, no, uh, uh, he, he heard it and he loves it. And I love that he loves it. Uh, he saw me at the show and he went, I was like, He knows. <laughs> He, he's, a, he's a mimic though he likes to he likes to jump on everyone else's um, little sayings and, and stuff so but um <laughs> fat Joe wow oh, oh look at that baby Pat look at that look at him this is actually my 
my favourite photo with my brothers. That is wicked. Even family ones. This is just better. Look at the energy. <laughs> and this was the, the second attempt because we came out and we cheered and there wasn't enough. So we all turned back and went, three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> and that's a baby too, so with the, the rain. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is wicked. Yeah. And that's like, the, the yellow and lavender shirt? Yes. <laughs> that's actually, I think that's my shirt and I gave it to him because I'm like, no, no, I'm sexy. Check me out. <laughs> Look at his hair as well. I know, oh. we always have long hair, and then he got really tall and weird and scary. <laughs> Greg's still the same. Greg's amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's always fun to watch, always has been. He just gets it. That's, that's a wicked look, though. That's so cool. I know. But like, because at the time, no one was doing big, exciting <clears throat> colors anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the time, it was you need a regular wrestling name. You're going to have black tights with like flames on them, or you're going to have red. <laughs> this is life. And we're like, no, 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 no. Like, because we were big into Skid Row and, and Motley Crue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, White Snake. And we're like, you know what? Let's just, let's be that because it's fun. It was like true to who we were at the time. Yeah. And it was heaps fun. So we got that energy just from being that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were meant to be bad guys, but it quickly turned on <laughs> us. <laughs> so we're like, hey, you know what? We're, we're fun. And we came out, we did the most ridiculous dance because we're very, very white. <laughs> so our dance was you take like a slightly lunged step, you put your wiggle fingers out, and you go... <laughs> <laughs> And that was it. And we would do that all the way around the ring. And everything we would do, you had to have like the rock and roll fingers. So <laughs> you like punch and then straight into that. If you kick out, it was... <sighs> oh, no. Nice. Everything, everything we did, if we're doing like a, a leap over, it was the, the sideways like guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was like, had to be rock and roll in that, some way. That is so good that you've got all these little details and... You put all this thought into it, and um, and like the best gimmicks are just you know you turned up. So the fact that you guys were having fun with it, I'm sure the crowd grew. That's why they, yeah, they grew to love you because they could just tell you guys were actually loving it and having having good times. So. Yeah, this is like for for me, this is like the peak of my wrestling, but I'm gonna peak again. So yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It was just the the most fun that I had. Yeah, yeah, out there. Ah, that's wicked. Oh, this is like when I came back. Look at how skinny I was. Yeah, we skipped ahead a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So this is post hiatus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I had to take a a brief break because mental health uh, outlying reasons. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, I need to reset factory reset, and then I got into the band stuff. I did that, and I was like, Oh yeah, yeah. I enjoy performing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like. And the whole time there was this big like something's missing. Yeah, yeah. Soon as uh, so when I came back, it was at an AWF show at Supernova. Okay. And essentially, I wanted free tickets to get in, <laughs> so I messaged <laughs> my people. I was like, "Hey, I'll do a match for you if you can get me in." They're like, "Yeah, cool. Come on in. You do a rumble." Yeah, yeah. And I got there. And Greg was there. I was like. He goes, do you want to do a tag match? And he's like, yeah. I was like, hot rods? He's like, yes. And so we had uh, Tommy Knight and Wreck'em Ball. Uh, they were our opposition. I think we were bad guys, but we still got cheered. But, <laughs> oh, no, no. They definitely were the faces because they came out to working class man and gave out iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was, I got back in there after not wrestling, not doing any conditioning for almost three years. Yeah. And it was like, TNT said afterwards, it was like, oh, it's like you didn't miss a beat. Which, you yeah, know, I'll take that. But then Greg and I were like, dude, that was sick. And it got match of the year for Wrestle Rampage that year. And what? I was like, what the fuck? Really? It's like, I didn't even do anything. I was like, I need this. I need this yeah, yeah, in yeah. my life because it's yeah, not, you got the spark was not complete there. without yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this was like, yeah, one of the, the first ones back. And uh, started forming the Renegades and... Getting my boys all lined up so we can mash people. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That's awesome. And then, like you just touched on it, it's very important sometimes. You just need to take a step away. It's wrestling or sport or life, whatever you have. you got to just sometimes just take a pause, 
um, get the mental health right and um, have a bit of a reset. And, and look, you've came, you come back, the fire was back there, you get rest, um, match of the year and all of a sudden the ball's rolling again and you go off into a whole new, um, uh, what am I, like a team structure and a um, gimmick that you're going into. So yeah. it was a brand new start, fresh start and look what's happened. It's, uh, it you know, it's felt good and it's like, okay. still feels good. I'm like, I can still do this. Like, hell yeah. No, it's good, man. No, I, I appreciate you um, you know, taking that look and going, yep, you've got to step away and come back and, well, and then with the if, brand new fire. If you're not there mentally, you're not just putting yourself at risk, it's other people as well. 100%. And I could not be the reason that someone else got hurt and was unable to do what they love. Like, yeah. that would have just broken me completely. Yeah. So I'd rather me be broken a bit, take a step aside, sort my shit out. <laughs> and then when I'm mentally and physically ready came back and it was like it was the right time yeah. it felt good and I just slotted straight back in and the, the dudes at Rampage were so welcoming and so loving and supporting I'm like oh, guy I needed this <laughs> and and that's very like um, it's very important any uh, young wrestlers watching this um, you know your mental health is struggling or you have actual injuries um, just take that step away and mm-hmm. um, you know like you just said you don't want to be the reason that someone gets hurt um, because of you, because of your your injuries or your health, so take a step away, come back, and if you're at a school or a wrestling company that is as welcoming as a Rampage or a Riot City, that sort of stuff, they will welcome you back straight back in, no problem, and then all of a sudden you're back to the top, no worries. So don't stress, um, get your shit together, and then you'll be fine. Safety number one. But um, here's the boys, here's the crew. My boys. So these guys are the reason I wrestle. But like right here. Every damn one of them. You're just missing own. denim, though. I know, because I was in shape. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was taken before we had the full gimmick set up. Uh, and then we took those ones when they when we got our jackets and our logos put on the back. <laughs> but, yeah, these guys, literally, like, they will spot check me on every little thing. They keep me toe on the line yeah, as yeah, far yeah. as wrestling goes. And they're... Uh, Honestly, they just inspire the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. I love watching every one of them work because they're... Like, we were all taught by Hartley Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even now we're finding, like, we do bits and pieces so drastically different just because of what we heard and what we took away from each and every lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But working with them, watching them work, it's just like... just makes me so happy. (laughs) They're my boys. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good to have that um, cool group there and obviously um, have your brothers and your teammates. So that's awesome, man. It's really good. Go to your dojo show. Oh, done. Tag I team th- main event. I think this was my first... No, 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 no. This is not my first loss. So when I came back, I had a really good streak. Okay. And yeah. I was like undefeated in singles nice, nice. Uh, so I definitely would have beat the shit out of these two wieners <laughs> especially that one there big Tommy with his weight belt on <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately they both kicked my ass in singles so I mean I can't really can't really fault them <laughs> but I, I had excellent title matches with both of those yeah, young yeah. boys and I'm very, very excited watching Tommy do what he's been doing lately. He's, he is yeah, everywhere. He's dominating. He's um, MCW tag team champion. He's in Slam in um, Canberra. He's doing some big things. He's, so. just, he's all over. And it's like it's really good to see these young guys being able to get those opportunities and pushing themselves and like making those connections. And it's yeah. like, this is their dream. And I was like, at this point, I feel like the old man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... I'm here to help you guys. Like, I stopped pushing myself. I'm like, you go. If you yeah, need help, yeah. I'm there. I will help you with anything you need. Let's fucking go. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I always forget that I also want to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you can't be you can't be making these guys better than you. you got to keep them in check at some stage, mate. Uh, they're pretty good, though. <laughs> I love those guys. Uh, there's that for my phone. There it is. Up. There it is. I, uh, I'm trying to get back there, honestly. <laughs> I think I was like 93-ish there. Yeah, yeah. And this was post-lockdown. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, and yeah. During lockdown, uh, 
the old mental health kicked in again. And I was like, because I had just lost band, wrestling. Yeah. All I had was my day job. And yep. that is working in a freezer all day, every day. At least you had the work. That was good. Man. I was casual. And it was like, I hate the colds. So. <laughs> yeah, it was good that I still had the income. But I lost everything that I loved. Yeah, of course. So quickly. So I was like, you know what? I can still control fitness. Let's go. Uh, and me and Bonesy, three days a week, two hour cardio sessions. Wow. Working with their body weight and came out of that the fittest I've ever been in my nice, whole nice. life. Uh, and then shortly after lockdown, I got a shoulder injury and then I got a back injury and I got a shoulder injury. <laughs> and it just like, it just kept spiraling. So I've finally fixed those. They're like moving again. I'm like, let's get back to, to what I was because I could move. I could wrestle. Yeah. And it felt like I had unlimited like power. <laughs> I was like, I can just I can just go. And me and Istria had one of the most intense and one of the best matches I've ever had in singles. Yeah. Um this night, I believe. Nice, nice. And it was just like that one got match of the year too. Just you know, don't want to brag, but <laughs> <laughs> See, um, you know, you said you haven't won any titles or rumbles, but you've won Two time, but maybe more. Uh, match of the I've gone year. five years in a row now. Match of the year. There you go. So, I I think that is an awesome accomplishment, um, and I put that probably rate that a bit higher than a belt almost. Um, any sort of doesn't matter if it's internal or if it's in the PWI or whatever fucking magazine. But if you're a wrestler of the year, match of the year, that sort of stuff, that stuff it is is means amazing. Means a lot to me. So right? yeah, those are your sort of like. Yeah, MVP of your basketball team, that sort of stuff. Getting that sort of shit is amazing. Yeah, so I'd that's awesome. Man. Rather recognition from my peers. Yeah. And it's like, fuck yeah. You guys do like me. <laughs> Why are you such cunts? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least they're watching. That's the main thing. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure you'll get back there, man. I've seen your work ethic I'm and what you've been at- doing. So you'll be back there in no time. <laughs> <laughs> this was before I got him fired. Uh... <laughs> Which I'm no longer proud of, but I was at the time. Look at that smug prick. Your buddies now. Uh, oh, God. What happened this night? I didn't wrestle this night. That's why I'm wearing those boots. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this was the one show I had off. It's been two now, since I returned. Only two shows that I haven't actively wrestled on. Oh, wow, yeah. But I was still there because I need attention. <laughs> <laughs> but we were, we were in the middle of making a statement as the Renegades is sort of fighting the new way of things. Like Yeah, yeah. They came back and people called Rat Daddy and <laughs> Corn Dog. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> but, you know, since I've, I've seen them wrestle, they're actually really good. Right, yeah, name right. doesn't mean a lot. I was just old and cranky. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, I get it, I get it. And Istria was on their side, so... He sort of copped the brunt of that, being the most experienced guy. I thought he should probably be on our side. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's, I'm sure these guys are... We're not old and crap. <laughs> like, we're cool. We, we got this. Um, uh, so we had, you know, a few matches. And at the end of one of those, he had to resign. And Tommy Knight had a, a contract that we all thought he was going to use for a title shot against Rat Daddy, but he chose to... Use it to bring old Ash back, and ah. subsequently, Ash beat the shit out of me. <laughs> but we're all good now. He forgave me. And I, we, we, uh, we hugged it out. So I was in the crowd for the um, retirement firing match, and that was an amazing. It was amazing it was match. Amazing I had the night. shittest haircut. <laughs> I, I, least... my I need a bit shorter because I'm trying to grow it all out. And they gave me this weird like Karen fringe, but nothing else. <laughs> I was like, well, this is what I've got now. That's what we got. <laughs> Hold on. No, no. It's all right. Keep going. <laughs> History has come to get us. <laughs> he, he can get you anywhere. <laughs> but um, no, I was in the crowd for that match, and that was an awesome match. And um, I'm glad you filled in how he came back, because I didn't keep up um, with the Rampage storylines. Ah, yes. So I had no idea how all of a sudden he came back. So thank you for that. That was yeah, good. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit rude there, man. So fat. Uh, yeah, 
I think that's the one. Is I it beat the, him. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like a fringe. haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah, he had to quit. And he cried, and it was really sad. It made me feel like a horrible human being. And he had the war paint on, didn't he? Was that that one? Yes. Yeah, and I yeah. was covered. <laughs> <laughs> but it looked really good. Like, watching the entrance, seeing the pictures from it, it looked really, really cool. Yeah, and yeah. He had a uh, little Lily Blaze seeing his entrance. Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, we've had some really, really cool matches like that. Uh, three cool? It would be a three cool. That three, over, yeah. over, I think it was about 12 months. So much fun. And he pushes me so hard every single time. Yeah. To the point yeah. that I think, I'm going to die this time. Like, this is, <laughs> this is where the heart goes, nah. <laughs> You've had enough. But, yeah, he, every time, like, I feel like he makes me a better wrestler. No, no, that's awesome, man. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how you feel the whole time you're wrestling him. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at the war paint all over. Oh, my God. And little Greg in the back. Look at him. Also gassed, but all he had to do was run out and. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my God. Oh, what a photo. Quality that's photography. A, yeah, that's a good haircut you got. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, my God. I've tried to grow my hair out as a full head of hair three times, and every time it ends up exactly like this with an undercut. I'm like, this is who I am. Accept it and move on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Why not? Go for that. That's where we hunted out after he broke my arm. <laughs> Soon as he got me in that armbar, I'm like, no, 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 he's gonna wrench, go, 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 tap, tap, ref, save me! <laughs> and then these jerks. Greg has a mohawk. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Didn't they beat the shit out of me there? Was this after. Is this when he came back? Yeah. Istria? So yeah. this was his return, and this was our third match. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean. I was pretty shitty in the other two matches and I took the old turnbuckle off uh, I tried again and then he got me because <laughs> he was like fool me twice <laughs> yeah exactly exactly. <laughs> he, he had time to study when he was away so. but uh, he yeah he got that arm heaps Jesus. during the match and as soon as he got that arm I am like if he actually like goes for it yeah I'm going to be in a bad way <laughs> so like as soon as he goes in like, yeah, no, yeah no 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 yeah. Very very humbling experience. Yeah, absolutely. No, what a what an awesome um, match that would have been. Oh my god, the Bones. only time me and Bones have ever had a singles match ever. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was super super fun. Um, but unfortunately, we're both sort of not our peak fitness for what we wanted to achieve, and like we weren't able to push that extra bit and get. Yeah, okay. get what we wanted out of it, um, but it was still super fun because like Bonesy's one of my best friends. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was just like, it was cool because he works real weird because he is weird. <laughs> 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 like you're trying to wrestle him and he's almost like uh, <clears throat> like putty, and he's like suddenly he's behind you or he's like rolling around. And you're like, the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, that was heaps fun. He's I would love to have another. Uh, many more matches, but at least one more singles with Mr. Malone. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a wicked look about him. And he's I know. Got... He's got, like, he's always just, like, as far as gimmick goes, he just gets it. Yeah. And he's just, 100%, he thinks about every aspect of, like, where the paint goes, what he wants for his gear, designs everything. And uh, he's just, yeah fascinating to watch <laughs> like, like, like his entrance you're like what the hell is going yeah. on <laughs> oh, that's so cool man it's... oh my okay alright this match what's going on here so this is uh, at a Switch SA event uh, which is they are a BDSM faction okay yeah yeah so it's essentially a wrestling at a sex show <laughs> without the actual sex Yep, yep. Very, there are rules everywhere about that. So obviously there are rules up because people violated that shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, the ru- rules are to get made when people fuck shit up. <laughs> this was a no DQ match. 
between me and Mr. Rat Daddy. Oh. On a slate floor tile. Ugh. So, yeah, no ring. Um, oh, no ring. Wow. Uh, they had the cage set up in the middle, which was actually a dancing cage, but we ended up using it. Uh, <laughs> and th- just then, he had ducked one of my punches, and I hit the cage way <laughs> harder than I was going to hit his face. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows oh shit but uh we're, we're doing like for this like chops and stuff and they were like yeah so <laughs> like I'm like oh yeah you guys do this for fun <laughs> so we actually borrowed some whips from a uh, person they call daddy they got very excited when we brought the whips out oh shit I don't think I got to whip anyone but I certainly got whipped <laughs> Oh, wow. what an what an experience! <laughs> yeah, it it was actually really fun, um, except for the slate floor tile. Yeah, Those bumps on that were just awful, uh, and I had my elbows swollen up the next day. Like, yeah, so yeah. bad. Oh uh, shit! Far out! What an experience! I didn't expect that from that. I'll wrestle out. anywhere, anyone. Bring it on! <laughs> Here we go, Perth! Yay! My first Perth experience. So I, I went. Uh, at the start of the year to Perth to do their summer camp yep yep uh, I want to have like a fresh like exciting start to the year where I'm like I can just immerse myself in wrestling for five days I don't have to think about work or anything else I'm just I'm gonna be a wrestler yeah, yeah. for this entire experience and nothing else and it was super good like mentally for me because I was like sort of wavering again I was like oh is wrestling for me yeah 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 as he he had these intrusive thoughts. Yeah, but yeah. I went there and it was like I got to work with Dave Storm and Slater, and they are so knowledgeable and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, super supportive of everything. And just like it was, you're never too late to learn shit. Yeah, yeah. like I've been doing this for a long time. I was the most experienced person in the class, except for obviously Slater and Storm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm still still taking away or just like refreshing stuff that. I should know and just uh, expanding on it and getting to work on it with people who are super knowledgeable about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so it was like really fun and I also got to meet a, a bunch of cool people like Anth and, uh, and Julio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's heaps of people there. Super good dudes like Solomon Blackwell and like... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexy Seth from Queensland. Uh, Lil, Mi- Lil Mars <laughs> so yeah it was like it was a really really good group and I got to go with a bunch of our trainees as well so I was Uncle Joe like <laughs> guiding them through and, and helping them supporting them and they just they smashed it they did oh, so wicked. well that's so good what an experience it was heaps fun I would, I would rec- recommend this to everyone yep, yep all of the people in wrestling <laughs> go and do this at least once because it's an awesome experience uh, and you won't really get this in-depth thing like experience anywhere because you never get to commit as much time to it yeah, as yeah, you did there. They, these were like eight hour days wow. of just wrestling school exercise <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> and yeah just getting those reps in and just drilling stuff home so it was like it was awesome I would yeah, when I could afford to I would do it again yeah absolutely well they run I think they run a few um, camps throughout the year. They got like a winter and a summer camp and I stuff like that. So I think they've cancelled summer because it was fucked. Oh, was it? Was it? So hot. <laughs> I think they're just doing the winter from now on. But uh, I think they do their four day bits and pieces. Yeah, they do throughout. some little ones here and there. But um, yeah, anyone um, like Joey just said, doesn't matter what your experience is. If you want to go brush up on some skills or you want to learn shit. Um, what a, what an experience, Slater and Stormy. So that's learn awesome. as much as you can from as many people as you can. Yeah, yeah. That great advice, guys. Make sure you take that. What's going on Is here? that Mitch? Yeah, cop that, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is more in. I, I actually have memories of this match. There you go. We're getting a bit more in the recent ones. So this was uh, top tier. Solomon Blackwell and McRider. Oh uh, yes, Queensland boys. This is just before Mitch went to Japan, I think. Yeah, well, killing it over and, there. Yeah. Um, and it was super fun because I've never worked, never met Mitch before, <laughs> so it was cool to work. Obviously, I love love Solomon, like as far as experience to what he can do, he's amazing. He's picking yeah. picking everything up so fast. His in ring movement and his character work, super super cool. And him and Mitch are just like 
such a cool duo. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fun for me and Ash to absolutely whoop them for like <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> it's uh, like, you may be cool, but you know, we're better than you. So yeah, exactly. Up yours. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No, good dudes, Queensland boys. They are. They, are, they good they're, boys. They're absolutely killing it. Um, like Mitch in Japan, Solomon's been killing it. He was back in Rampage not long ago. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No, I think he um, will always be welcome with us. There he is. Flip. Do you want to flip? Yeah, I can still fly. <laughs> Rome Mysterio, here he goes. <laughs> I don't think history had caught you on that one, mate. No, no, he pushed them into. Oh, he pushed them yeah. into. Oh, no. there we go. That's all right then. And the two little boys had to catch this mass <laughs> flying at them. No mats on the floor either. Nah, oh. all the way down. Make a statement and making a statement to absolutely nobody. <laughs> <laughs> except, except myself. Yeah, like, yeah. I can still do a backflip. It's fine. There's people in the crowd. <laughs> I know, it's literally the worst, but it looks like there's no one there. Yeah. <laughs> then you hate those photos and they... It's like, no, there like, was people. Why post there's no one there? It's like, there was fucking people there. I didn't <laughs> see them. That was a good crowd yeah. then, though. Oh, yeah, a sick flip, dude. So even though I am a heavyweight, I still cling to those like what made me start wrestling, like Rey Mysterio flips, cruiserweight stuff. I love it. I can do a backflip, so I will until I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said earlier, like um, I can do that stuff, but I, I shouldn't be. But you look at like say the Undertaker. And all of a sudden he does a dive over the rope. Like, Holy yeah. shit. So the fact that you can just pull this out randomly now and again, like a you know, a moon sold or a flip over the ropes or whatever it is you do, that makes the people just stop and go, What hang on, did I just see that? And yeah. then yeah. It's I'm, awesome. I'm actually uh, struggling to learn to wrestle as a heavyweight. Because I've always always been the little guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um so when I'm thinking about wrestling, I'm like, No, nah, I can't do that move. I'm too small. But I'm like Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I have muscles now. <laughs> I have become large. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, yes. New Japan. So this uh, is actually a match that I wanted to do for so long. Because uh, I've known um, Grimm for ages. Oh, yes. Because uh, yes. he is married to the guitarist in The Babes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's a beautiful human being. <laughs> um but when I met him properly and we actually got to talking rather than just like bypassing the wrestling yeah, scene, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wasn't wrestling at the time. And so we got to be friends and uh, yeah, yeah. we went to America and Japan together and that was heaps fun. And then I got back to wrestling. I'm like, I really want to wrestle him like a lot. Now I want to fight his brother too. <laughs> but uh, it was heaps fun to get to work with him because... I was never sure if that was going to be a thing that could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and to do it for New Japan, like it was. Uh, yeah, what an experience! Yeah, the super the New cool. Japan tour come over, tryouts, that sort of stuff. Um, how did you feel, sort of getting selected for that and being a part of the, yeah, yeah, of uh, the New Japan in Australia? It was really good and also uh, sort of surprising because I was having having a really bad week when the tryouts happened. <laughs> I. Had, Taking some time off work, so I'm like, just every now and then, you yeah, just get yeah. overwhelmed. You're like, no, exactly, oh, exactly. That we touched hard. on earlier, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I got the message from Istria. It's like, boys, we're making a statement. Let's go. And so I, I wasn't going to do the tryout because I was just mentally not there for it. Yeah, yeah. But Ash was like, we're doing this. <laughs> like, no, it's not an option. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And uh, I'm super glad that that happened because I got this experience out of it and like uh so the match we had to put on to potentially get booked i got to wrestle ash again yep yep so again super cool and uh his match that night just <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> the the whole second half of that show blew my mind I, like i don't think i blinked yeah the whole yeah, time. yeah but yeah it was a it was a super cool experience and uh i'm very very glad that i did it um, because I didn't feel like a wrestler when I was doing the tryout. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But immediately yeah. afterwards, yeah. I'm like, no, no, just, <laughs> just keep your shit together, man. Like you yeah, got this. Exactly. You have little patches, yeah. and then yeah, and look what's come out of it, man. Right. Um, opportunity for New Japan. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is my girlfriend's background. 
Look at this sexy beast. <laughs> it's a good photo. This is a Delta, isn't it? Yeah, this was not long ago. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, right city. Yeah, it's yeah. Like the right city when, logo. When yeah. she, she mashed me. <laughs> when I was supposed to mash her. She's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I get too cocky. I do stupid shit. And it always, <laughs> always blows up in my face. Uh, but this is probably one of my favorite in ring photos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like the uh, Costanza. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel um, going over to Riot City um, and, and being a part of those matches? Yeah, actually, uh, really good. It was um, it was good to just be able to show up, wrestle, and not have to focus on my my side of behind the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the actual setup and the lighting and sound, and I just got to show up fight and I could give a hundred percent of myself to that yep, yep. moment so it was a uh, for me really really good um and also it's just nice to wrestle different people and it's good to see uh, intergender stuff happening more and more like yeah, I, yeah. I think uh, the way we train at Rampage is uh there's no gender you guys are wrestlers yeah wrestling yeah. is your gender yeah, while yeah, you're yeah. here like we don't treat you differently you just we're here to learn the exact same craft, so let's just do it together. Yeah, yeah. For so sure. it's it's super cool, and to get to be part of that was was really fun. Yeah, wicked, and like um, you know, intergender is a hot topic, um, but obviously you're all for that sort of hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just get in there and go for it. So that's wicked, man. This is <laughs> this back is at the sex back. show. Oh, it's the sex show. <laughs> See, there's a slate floor there. <laughs> Horrible oh, stuff. Shit. Um, far out. Look at these shorts. No rat. Get the bin lid out. Look at that. Yeah, I think we had the uh, the trash can, the bin lid, chain, whips. Oh shit. Um, no blood, which was probably good because it would have made the slate floor very yeah, slippery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we we actually made a really fun promo video for this, where because uh, the theme of the night was superheroes and supervillains. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I wasn't asked to, but I'm like, ah, fuck it, let's let's make a like a silly video. <laughs> and so I had uh, gorgeous Greg Graham playing our dastardly villain. We had a bunch of our rookies tied up and in a predicament <laughs> of some kind. Uh, and then I come down and I'm the screaming demon, the superhero, and my sidekick Rat Daddy. And then we had an argument in the video of like, no, 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 you're the sidekick. No, I don't suck you. I thought uh, the only way to settle it is obviously a no rules match at the Switch SA event. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's a it's a it's a weird it's so stupid it's the stupidest video but it was so much fun to make and I laugh every time I watch it. Yeah, um, uh, that's the main thing. As long as you're having fun, man, that's what you want. So that's awesome, man. You gotta have fun doing this. Here we are. Yeah, the, the boys. boys. And they came up to you. So handsome. Uh, it was Jeans West. Sorry. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. <laughs> we gave him a plug when we we because we didn't have any matching gear, and uh, we had to look like a team. And so on the day of the show, we met up at Brickworks, and we're like, "All right, so what's our vibe?" And he's like, "I don't know, black jeans, white shirt." Like, Done. And they had a two two for something. On the jeans and, and a discount on the shirts. There you go. There and, you uh, go. We're like, man, you know what? We actually look pretty good. <laughs> Let's get a photo of this. <laughs> I oh. went. Oh, you look good. We should just wear this as gear. Yeah. If absolutely. it wasn't for the fact I would get so hot. Nah, you could rip the shirt off to a Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Wrestling in jeans would be fine. As long as they're stretchy ones. They're actually pretty good. There you go. I see? did a match in those jeans. Uh, me and Pat. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Hardcore. And yeah. they're actually pretty good. You gotta wear jeans in hardcore matches, the rule, isn't it? It's <laughs> the only way. Here's the, That's the, the surf, surf camp. camp. Yep. With young Ned and Leah Lovegrove. Leah Lovegrove. There you go. And a cropped out extra friend. <laughs> <laughs> Take that to your crop out. Slater in the middle there. Nice. Yeah, it was like uh, we we're getting a rampage photo. Yeah, yeah. For nostalgia. Well, um, I can it, just by the look of you guys, it looks very warm. <laughs> it was so hot. Everyone's and s- red, sweating. 
That, that sure. we haven't even started yet. We're just sitting. <laughs> it's just so I'm pre-toweled, ready oh, for it. Oh wow! And we're like sitting there writing notes, sweating on our pads, like oh, oh shit. What an experience! It was so good, <laughs> and uh, we, we stayed at the was it the R and R or R D R. I can't remember what they call it. I'm gonna get banned from it just for not knowing. Oh, the Ducks yeah, boys. the Ducks boys. Yeah. Oh, yep. No, I've... Uh, RDR. Uh, Renshaw yeah. stayed there before and it's a fucking... It's a, yeah. it's a good time. I got it's to a very stay good there time. for the whole time I was... I <laughs> the was Dude there, Ranch so. or whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a fucking... No, shout out to you boys, Ducks boys. Yeah, legends. Ducks boys. Fucking, um, they were very good hosts. Absolute yeah. legends. <laughs> and there we are. Here, oh, boys. that's after we... When you, up Dean Brady. Yeah, when you came in and smashed that piece of shit Dean Brady. I mean, <laughs> Dean Brady. <laughs> Just that regular Dean Brady man. <laughs> <laughs> Big mean mugging coming yeah, in, kicking think, ass. This was my official first Riot City. I like you match the colour of your uh, of your of your shirt there, mate, to the Riot City. <laughs> this is after the Tamashi show, isn't it? <laughs> Showed up in like the thickest gear possible because it was freezing. <laughs> Oh my god! What I, made you want to come in and and sort of make that statement, make your impact? Well, uh, Ash had a plan. He had secured the wild cards, and he's like, "Joe, you got to help me out, man." Come on! <laughs> so I'm like, "Fuck it, let's let, let's go!" Like, yeah, I owe him way more than that. So I've got his back for this, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think ultimately we just push Delta even higher up <laughs> which you know is fine because yeah you came in your bloody both couldn't get the job done now yeah. you've made a superstar in the Delta Dome she'll get hers a bit of a throwback here cold and... oh is this a throwback no 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 this, no, was, this is recent this yeah. as well yeah um, there she's an old photo me and Bellows uh, Bellows just... been on this show as fans would know yeah oh yeah Bellows always on the the cold shows big fan big fan of the old cold <laughs> Um, yeah, this match was actually pretty fun. Um, the old Caradinga Sports Centre. It was freezing and raining. <laughs> I remember that much. Oh, it's and always in Caradinga. Unruly mob backstage. But uh, <laughs> it's either freezing or it's boiling hot. <laughs> can't win. <sighs> um, no, no, I, this this was a fun match. Me and Bella was, uh I don't think I've ever worked together before especially not one on one yeah right so it was interesting to just try and see what the dynamic is because like in Rampage there's not heaps of people that are bigger than I am yeah it's yeah Tommy Knight Corndog Bellows uh, Rack and Ball yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so actually being in the ring with someone that's you know like four inches taller than you are you're like okay <laughs> right how do we do this <laughs> Um, but no, it's fine. It's like he's always cracks me up, so it was hard to try and stay focused and like, yeah. Actually, and I, I had him on here not long ago, and uh, yeah, he was a good, good chat. He was. <laughs> he's got some uh, weird, weird opinions. He's an interesting what... fellow. <laughs> There's Delta. Yeah, trying to German suplex me off the damn off apron. the friggin' ring. And then there was that, and then even further down and, was the ground. Oh, the big drop. That was like Glenelg, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Psycho, she is. <laughs> it's a great picture, though. That's a like, good that photo. Is, that is good. If there was any more oil on those ropes, we were going down. <laughs> Had Hater been out there yet? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That'd be shit, shit loads then. <laughs> this uh, was a fun match. I had a lot of, a lot of fun doing this match. We had to push super, super hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we were just. I don't think there was rest. We were just going. Just fighting. Nice. <laughs> and like, get him! <laughs> Stay down! <laughs> no, no, that's awesome, man. No, it was great match to watch. And um, what a beast. A delta and beast yourself. So, two two big beasts going at it. And then, yeah, she tries to do this stupid shit. Yeah, Throw you off the ring. What a bitch. It was reckless. <laughs> delta, that was reckless. So, that, uh, that brings us into the photos, Joey. Far out. So, um, a little bit of a trip down memory lane. It was the most I could sort of dig up that were reasonable to put on the show. <laughs> Fair enough. But, um, no, thank you for looking at those, man. I appreciate you um, going through those and telling those stories. Um, 
and what an awesome um, ride you've had so far. And, you know, like you said, you're just starting to hit another peak now. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm really looking forward to what you've got in store next and um, what you're going to get up to. I can't wait. It's good, man. All right. All right. <laughs> Joey, thank you for um, going through those. Well, thanks for having um, me, man. And I'd love for you now to plug um, social media, um, any events you've got coming up, any merch and that sort of stuff. This will hopefully be out in a couple of weeks, so Sweet. anything that's coming out. Uh, um, so we got uh, we are performing at the I Am Not A Burden Metal Festival. Uh, which is for oh, charity yeah, yeah. at the Uni Bar yeah. uh, on the 23rd of September. So that will be super fun. I believe we are putting on exhibition matches uh, at this stage every hour on the hour. Oh, nice. Um, nice. So to break in between the the metal bands that are playing, yep. we'll have some violence. So it'll be a really, <laughs> really fun time. Uh, Joey Graham on Facebook. <laughs> uh, Screaming Demon is my Facebook page. Uh, my Instagram handle is I think JD underscore the babes underscore official because uh, that is half wrestling half band stuff yep, yep. try to keep it all uh, Twitter is just Joey Graham and that's all I have at the moment I'm working on merch to get some Screaming Demon stuff out there nice, uh, nice. just picky on designs because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a douche no that's fine <laughs> No, um, all the links will be in the description, guys. Give Joey a like and a follow, all that sort of stuff. Um, as always, support independent wrestling um, here in South Australia and Australia worldwide. And then obviously when he gets his merch, um, get around him, get to the Rampage shows and get that merch. But um, I really appreciate you coming out here and doing this, man. Um, it's been a great chat. We've had a great time. Yeah, I, think, I don't think I've laughed this much since uh, the Down Under episodes. This has been great. I've, <laughs> I've really enjoyed this. Um, and I look forward to seeing you around, um, not only Adelaide, but around Australia, um, keeping killing it, and hopefully you'll smash Rachel one day. Fuck you. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Beers and Brawls. Another huge, huge thank you to my guest, Joe Graham. Um, such a knowledgeable man who's been around a long time, and it was awesome to hear his stories and to see what he has going for the future. Um, as always, give him a like and a follow. Give us a like and subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Um, support independent wrestling, get around Shifty Lizard, the legend supporting this show. Until next time, cheers.